everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to share with you something that I noticed this morning on my computer when I was um, going in to answer my comments. I watched a few videos first and then I went over to do the comments. And I'm going to show you what I saw. And this is what I saw. Question. Every time I turn my computer on, well not every time, but a lot of times, do you see those little red dots that these little things right here that say, those are the ones that say that they're subscribed to you. And then you'll see these little purple things. That means that I've given them a lot of hearts and that means they've visited me a lot. And then there's some that don't have it, of course, because they have their, their um, subscriptions probably hidden. But this is what I'm seeing, and I like seeing this because, you know, if they say, I subbed to you, and you don't see this little red dot, you know darn well they either have their, their um, subscriptions hidden or they really didn't sub to you. But that's what I, I've noticed, and it, it's not there all the time, but I don't know. I like it when it shows up. Just wondered if anybody else has seen that. I also cracked, I, I don't know if you remember, I showed you that little tiny egg that was the size of an olive, and I showed you the, I'll show you it again, I show you the olive and the little egg. Well, I'm going to crack it open and I'm going to show you what the yolk looked like inside that egg. Quite a long time ago, I had had done, I had an egg that was hatched, or actually, yeah, was laid on January 29th. I don't have to get where I'm, I'm doing this by myself, so I'm hoping I'm in the camera. January 29th, this little egg was laid, and I compared it to an olive, which I will do again. There's the olive and there's the egg. I will lay it down so you can see. There it is. And whoa, it's going to roll away. And I wanted to see what was in it today. So today is the day I'm going to crack it open. So we're going to see if there's anything in it. I don't know what's in it. We're going to find out. Boy, it's got a tough, whoa, it's got a really tough skin on it. Oh, well, it's got a funny egg in it. It looks like, wow. It looks like the yolk has a piece that's bulged out this way. It's probably one I'm going to give to the dog. We'll cook it and give it to the dog. But that was what was in that little tiny, it had a really tough skin. Little tiny egg. And I went outside and I showed you the snow. We got snow last night. And if you ever listen to our news, they show you the worst of the worst even though we did get quite a bit. It does show like a lot of snow on the on the nesting boxes. The roads were pretty clean. The um, deck had quite a bit on it. But it was not where they, clo they closed all the schools, which is very unusual. But they were expecting like, I don't know how many feet of snow, a lot of snow. They were expecting- I don't know, it was three unreal. Three or four feet. If if you listen to the national news, they were they were saying we could ha have up to four feet of snow, which, which was, is ridiculous. Yeah. What and snow we got where it was deep is all because of drifting from the wind. Well, the wind is blowing quite a bit, and so that makes it bad. The visibility gets bad. But typically, they would have never closed the schools on this kind of weather that we had. But we hadn't used any snow days yet this year, so I think they were just itching to use one. So they closed the schools. Every school in the area was closed. <clears throat> my throat, my voice is going. And because they did that, 
I decided I would stay home. And in the meantime, my sister didn't go to her gym. Instead, she FaceTimed me, so we talked for a while, which was quite interesting because we were playing with our iPods and iPads and trying to figure out the technology. And she, and she was figuring out, she actually took a picture of me and put another picture side by side of me, which I don't know how to do that, but she figured it out. And it was really fun. Then we turned the camera where you couldn't see. She put me on pause, but I could hear her, and then she couldn't figure out how to get her back, get me back. So she said, Google, how do I, and she asked Google how to get back from, how do you get back from pause on FaceTime? And it told her what to do, and so she did it, and so she got back. But that's what, um, I'll show you the chickens, possibly. You might see the blue chicken. I'm not sure whether you will or not. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But those are the things that I wanted to show you today. I wanted to show you the thing I found on the computer. I want to show you the egg, and I want to show you possibly the snow, and the maybe the little blue streak on my, my chicken that's still not she's still not coming down out of the house she she comes out quite a ways but then she decides she wants to go back up in so I've been giving her her food and water there and I've been waiting to real late hoping that she would go down but she hasn't gone down well from one day to the next we've got snow they closed all the schools and I've got to clean off the chicken box as you can see, we got quite a bit of snow. Oof. And somebody will say, where's your gloves? Well, they're in my coat. But I'm not touching the snow. Let's see what they're doing. Hello, Lady Jane, are you not gonna go outside? You're the one with the blue streak down her hair. As you can see, she's still got the blue streak. She doesn't wanna go out. Your water is getting froze again. You need to go out and go down below. This is not good. Take the ice out of there. Oh. How's the other water? The other water's good. Are there any eggs? that's it for today. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.